Hi guys, Roman Spine here. Welcome to my video review to Transformers Robots in Skies Warrior Class Megatronus. Now, Megatronus is so far the best Warrior Class figure we've got. I mean, he's perfect. Nothing's wrong with him. So here he is in his tank mode. Really nice Cybertronian tank mode. Oh, for start off, this is Megatronus. As in Megatronus Prime, as in the Fallen, as in one of the original 13. Not Megatron, leader of Decepticons, the original Decepticon. I don't know why the fandom is getting so confused. He's not Megatron. Okay, so look at the tank. Very nice Cybertronian tank. He's got a nice big cannon bow, fusion cannon. So you're pretty much dead if you get in front of this thing. Because look, you got, he'll skew you, then he'll shoot you. But if you dodge that, you've got drills here waiting for you. So... The only way to get out of the way is going to the left or the right. It's tough, it does rotate. And, and which is the waist joint in robot mode, which is very clever. He's also got moulded in little rocket launchers. So that's pretty good. So he's got some good detail. There's a Toys R Us exclusive, this guy, where he actually has the faceplate and these missiles here are actually painted. That's actually my only nitpick with a figure. Kind of wish he had those were painted, but other than that, perfection. He rolls well. Turn, turn around to look at the back, you don't really see a lot of kibble. Got nice detailed treads. His underside isn't very good, like you got a better look at those drills. I mean, yeah, even if you get between there, you still feel it's going to be crushed. So, yeah, he'll kill you. Get straight out. up. You've got, you can, you can take the scalpel out, but you've got to uh, split the nose. It does get a bit stuck. There you go. Just so you can have a better look at that. Just got to get it back, tab back together now. And of course, he just doesn't want to do it. There you go, so there's a better look at his cannon on its own. I personally think that looks a bit better with just the cannon. Sure, it's nice that he can just skewer you as well. So, yeah, great tank mode to have some comparisons. Starters, here's Legends Megatronus. Aw, look at that. It's like a baby with his dad. You got look. You can even do a, a sort of a docking thing. You can just slide him down here because why not? So yeah, that's cute. Very, very easy to a Legends figure. Here he is with spring load as a standard one step comparison. They're about they're about the same length. Megatons, I think, is a tad bit taller. Yeah, he is. He's a bit taller because he's got a turret. Here he is with. His wave mate fracture. So there they go. Move out of the way. And last but not least, here he is with Optimus Prime. So there you go. Okay, now Ball Mates, it's actually showing this guy's got two fan modes, so I'll get to use of those. So his first fan mode is kind of like a gun cannon mode, so you fall at his arms like that. You fold up the head, you rotate it. There you go. Let's get everything his arms just transformed. You can fold up the hands, bend down, fold up the hands. If we can just get a grip, grip on that, you can trim a nail, so there you go. So there you go. Here's one of his fan modes, it's like a little. Guns, it reminds me of a Zaku tank from Gundam. So he can basically attack you at your ankles. Okay, so I'll just get back into his tank mode. It's quite quick and simple. Okay, so we yeah, bring those back in. Bring those back in and just tab them together. Okay, yeah, there you go, so he's back in tank mode. Now for his second fan mode, you start by, you guys, we just transform the legs, so you bring these treads up, tap them into place, and they tap them really securely. Again, tap them into place, unpeg, bring these knee pads over, and click them into place, bring them down, rotate the waist around, and now we've got this gear tank. It's like a turret, which is pretty cool. So we can just sh murder you with it like this, which is pretty good. 
So yeah, a lot of fun you can have this guy. Okay, we've pretty much gone into robot mode now, so just straighten up the legs. Split the arms again. Lock them into place. Push down this tab thing to get the head out, which gets a bit stuck sometimes. Maybe that was me just being an idiot. Yeah, Cameron, I can see your face, what else is new? Take the shoulder, bring the elbows down. Bring out the fist again. We got a little tab to grab onto so it's very easy to get out. Bring out the fist, rotate it down. And there you go, here's Megatronus in his robot mode. And he's just, he's perfect. He's just absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with him. He's rock solid. Articulation's great. Do 360 at the shoulders. He's got ratchets in his shoulders, but they're not like Grimlock's ratchets. They're perfectly fine. They're not going to shatter. He's got no no wrist articulation. His knees bend about that far, so that's pretty good. So you get some good poses. As you saw, he's got a waist joint. He's got drill butts, which is pretty funny. And uh, no foot articulation. And then now look at his weapon, which looks, looks like more like a scalpel. I mean, look, just... All of that is like, yet yeah, commend surgery. So you can surgically take apart Autobots. But it's meant to be like a, just a, a scalbard or something. So there we go. But you can also store it on his arm. Like that. Which is more, which looks pretty good. But as he's technically not Megatron, he wouldn't be, he would store it on his arm. He'd probably hold it because that's sort of thing the falling in the, Bay movie tells us whether this is in a Bay form, this is a brilliant form. Okay, so yeah, Romo's really good. So now let's get down to some pa some. Uh, now let's get down to some size comparisons. Okay, so here he is with the Legends Megatronus again. Looks like father and son. As you can see, this one's got a lot more purple, and this one's got a bit more grey. Which yeah, this one still looks nicer. Also, this one's got a few more details on the chest. But again, it's all about Megatronus here, not little Megatronus. Here's okay, so various of a Legends toy. Not yet, cameraman. Next up, here is with one step spring load. Just like it does like a pet to him here. Where's the artist? Silence! Okay. And here he is with Fracture. He's about, uh, let's see, let's put Fracture right behind. Actually, Fracture's a bit taller than him. Well, especially you're taller than you when you're servants. He's awesome. And last but not least, is Optimus Prime. Which has a good scale, so you can have him just go at it. But yeah, so, I see he's Optimus taller than Wow. Megatons is actually quite a, so he's quite a small warrior class. But still, he's awesome, it doesn't matter. So, at the end of the day, do I recommend Megatons? Definitely. Definitely recommend Megatronus. He's absolutely perfect. I mean, look, he's got a really clean robot. No kibble. He's just got those drills. But so what? You can say the thrusters. Yeah, so beautiful figure. He's out in Sainsbury. I got where I got Fracture, which was Sainsbury's. So that's not... That's, so go get him. If you see him. But they're about 15 quid, so good deal. So, yeah. Okay, I'm rambling now. So, yeah, just buy him. He's awesome. Okay, thanks for tuning in, guys. This has been Rodolfo Minor, and I'll catch you in the next review.